now at the Baby Center by SMU head coach Matt Doherty. Well, in the pregame, we talked about what you got you behind by 17 on Saturday. What got you behind by 17 in the first half? Well, tonight? I think it's uh, much, of, much, much of the same. Uh, you, you're talking about an experienced team on the road, a uh, true road <coughs> game. Uh, they did an excellent job defending us. I don't think we uh, uh, really kept our poise uh, running our offense. Uh, so and then we let uh, 45 get loose. Uh, he, he round uh, uh, Morrison, Morrison. Morrison uh, you know, really a, a terrific player mm -hmm. and one that I applaud. I, I hate playing against him, but he's uh, a fun player to watch. So I think that we just, uh, you know, it's one thing when you practice your offense, and then all of a sudden people get into your face, and uh, you got to trust them, and, and uh, you got to trust your read. You got to trust that when you do something, your teammates going to do the other, and that takes time. Uh, it, it, it took time for us. Last year, and we ended up uh, doing a great job with the offense, but it, it takes time to learn. Talking about Dominic Morrison, I noticed about the last 10 minutes or so, Jalen Jones ended up on him a lot, forced him into some tough shots. There. Well, Jalen's athletic enough, long enough, uh, has a mindset to be a very good defender. Uh, a lot of it is just technique now, uh, close out, sliding your feet, knowing which hand to use. And I thought he really did a good job there, uh, you know, especially late in the second half. Uh, at the end of the first half, how big was it to get four points in that one possession to kind of help cut the gap down going into well, the time? Well, I think it, it certainly helped. Uh, it certainly gave us a little momentum. But uh, I thought uh, much like the game against the Florida Gulf Coast, second half we came out, we, we, our defensive intensity was good. We changed up our offense into the pick and roll. Uh, you know, offense, what we call 44 game. And that way the guys could just be more aggressive off the dribble and uh, change it up. Um, they weren't used to, or Roberts wasn't used to guarding it. Uh, so it got us back in the game and got us back in the game quickly. Change up your starting lineup for the second half, too, from the first half. Well, Jalen Jalen gives us some score, you know, and, and uh, some size. Uh, he's a tough matchup. Um, and we uh, obviously struggled to score in the first half. It's just kind of tough. You had back-to-back -back games last week and again back-to-back -back games here tonight tomorrow night kind of tough with a young team because it limits your practice time well it does you know players would rather play coaches would rather practice <laughs> uh but i think that the, the big thing and i told our team is that i was proud of them uh, they competed we got better we have a foundation that can, to, to build on and uh we just want to keep getting better and, and i think that the team that comes out with the most energy tomorrow is going to be critical now the, the pine bluff won mm -hmm. so they they'll be feeling better than themselves than, than us tonight but it's my job as the leader to make sure our guys feel good. That don't let the scoreboard dictate your mood. I'll dictate your mood. Let me <laughs> be the judge on our performance, not the scoreboard. And um, I thought we performed, uh, you know, very well. Obviously, especially in the second half. Coach, appreciate it. We'll see you okay. tomorrow night. Thank you.